to show you uh, what the new tiny, the tiny parts look like. All right, this is a proper Volvo one, and they have various marks along here. All right, they've got a single mark, two of those. Okay, and then further round, we have a double mark. All right, now that goes onto the crankshaft end. Okay, and the single marks line up with the other two main wheels. Okay, and they all need to be lined up, and uh, I'll show you how to do that. All right. Now, so I roughly guessed it. I put it kind of halfway on all the cogs, and I've left it off the tensioner. Okay, so you want to put it onto all the teeth cogs first, and you put it onto the tensioner last. So. Right, after that screw up, I've tried again, okay, so I've got it halfway on there and I've left it off the tensioner. Alright, so, check. This mark is lined up with this mark on this tooth, okay? Now we need to go round. And see... This mark, actually I might be able to do that from underneath, hold on. It's lined up with that cog and you can see there that that is one tooth out, can't you? Okay, that is one tooth out. So what we'll do is I'll reposition that and we'll check it again. Okay, you can see I've repositioned that now and that's absolutely spot on. That is absolutely right now and the top is still lined up. Excellent. So, now, this double mark here, what you do is you put your thumb you put your thumb round it and the double mark will then line up with this stripe if you wrap it around tight enough. All right, you sometimes need to use a bit of kind of eye of faith to see it. Uh, but you can do it if you, if you look carefully. Okay. So, but that's fine. That looks right to me. Okay, so that's it now. All we need to do now is pull on the tensioner. Just enough to uh, release this bolt. And then that will ten that then tensions the belt, okay? Now, if you haven't already, release the bolt on the uh, crankshaft. And uh, and then we'll uh, just swing the engine back a couple of times just to settle the belt. Okay, so so we uh, remove that bolt, and then we'll get the crankshaft pulley and bolt it onto the front, just finger tight, and move it around and backwards and forwards a couple of times, and then we'll tighten this tensioner up. Okay, because if you don't, it doesn't sit properly. All right. Right. Now let's get let's tighten up this tensioner now. Good and tight, okay. Check the belt tension again and uh, just feel it roughly and then if you want to really check it you should just be able to turn it through 90 degrees and the longest travel okay now what we're going to do now 
we'll just make sure this bolt's on finger tight. All right, we're just gonna start the car up. All right, we don't need anything else connected, but we'll just start the car up just to make sure that we've lined everything up. All right, it ran before, it should now run again, okay? So we'll just very briefly start it up. Nothing's left in the engine bay, is it? No, okay. Hmm. It would help, wouldn't it, if I put the uh, ignition coil in, wouldn't it? So I put the crankshaft sensor in uh, finger tight and uh, just make sure this hasn't loosened off, which it hasn't. Okay. Try that again. Okay. Uh, the reason there's no oil pressure is because I haven't put any oil in it at the moment because I've drained the oil because I'm in the middle of doing a service. So that's absolutely fine. Okay, and you can see it's all, sh all the marks are shifted around, but that's not to worry at all. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and put it all back together. Uh, one final thing I always like to do just before you put everything back together again. I've already undone this. Okay, is just undo this tensioner again pull it in and out a few times to make sure that it's exactly on the spring. Tighten it up and just make sure that the tension's nice and tight again. And then again, do the 90 degree test. Okay, right, we've got most of the stuff back on. What we're gonna do now is finally tighten the crankshaft pulley bolt uh, to the correct specifications. Now, the specifications in the book give a torque and an angle tightening. So you torque tighten first of all to 60 Newton meters of torque. All right, so I've got my torque wrench here. Torque tighten first of all to 60 newton meters. I've already locked the crankshaft again with the bolts at the other end, by the way. All right, that's clicked now. So that's that. That's locked. That's torque tightened. Okay. So then we need to change. All right, and now I've got my bar on here, and we angle tighten a further 60 degrees. And that's going to get very tight, so I'm going to have to switch off while I do that. I can't show you me doing that. All right, but you want to do 60 degrees all in one motion if you can. Right, once that's all done, you can go ahead and fit everything else back, tension all the belts up, and you're all done. Okay, so we've got everything back in. I've managed, I've remembered to fill up the oil. And we've checked all the belts are tight, so we're all ready to go. So, ready for the final check and start up. Okay. That's pretty good so far. All the lights have gone off. All seems fine, excellent. So there you go. I hope that helps you out.